first impressions don't tell the whole picture, here are 30 makeup reviews of products that I've been testing way more than just one time. It does tighten the skin, but it also makes all of my makeup peel off, so this is a no-go. Leaves the skin hydrogen dewy, but it can get a little heavy, so less is more. Same as the original Power Grip Primer, but with a better ingredient, niacinamide, and the pink, it's just prettier. My new favorite glowy primer slash highlighter, it's so lightweight on the skin. And improve it from the old formulation, I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. I would say the best of this new group of foundations that I've tried, medium high coverage, lasts a really long time. She's a moody one. I like it. It's quite hydrating, great for dry skin, but some days she breaks up at the end of the day, but only sometimes. This is tinted water. That's not a bad thing, but it is just tinted water. It's kind of sticky in texture, but it gets the job done. It's fine. Makeup Revolution can be iffy, but I've got to admit, they can put out a good concealer. A drugstore standout, the best illuminating and light coverage concealer you can find. Perfection for mature skin. The product is great. The packaging is not.